Hello, this is a video showing you the uh, jog backwards and forwards uh, with automation. So I've launched uh, uh, Reaper basically, um, and as you can see, there is no IP at this point. Um, and I'm going to hit the search uh, button, which will uh, set the IP uh, address for my X32. And basically, uh, now I'm going to run uh, Reaper, um, getting the application to load. There's a small audio project, and we will move uh, with within this audio project. So let's go uh, to the end of the uh, the audio by clicking the uh, GTE. This actually is the effect, and then return to zero. That's the effect as well. Uh, we can now uh, basically uh, set the automation on, and as you can see, I have a nice uh, setup here, a nice template. Um, enable read write as well. Um, and we will uh, look only at this uh, DCA section, uh, playing with the uh, the faders and the uh, mute buttons. Hit play. Um, this will uh, record as Reaper is actually starting its audio. This will record the uh, changes that we make on the faders um, as well as the mute buttons. So let's uh, record some some fader changes and so on. Um, just to talk quickly about this template, I've actually uh, done this using a, a vinyl um, sheet of, uh, of plastic on which I've been, uh, um, you know, um, printing the template um, and uh, putting this on a, uh, a rubber, magnetic rubber um, sheet. Um, so, as uh, Reaper was uh, playing audio, uh, the elements have been recorded. If I, you know, do an RTZ, return to zero and play, of course my automation is back and it's playing as I've been recording it, uh, which is exactly what we want with this, uh, this program. Let's move forward as well. All of a sudden, everything is actually played uh, to the end. Um, stopping, everything uh, stays there and I move my jug back in time. Um, what happens when I hit the play button is that everything goes back to zero and plays very quickly up to the point where I am. I was not back enough, um, so let's do a little bit more. And at, at that point, I'll have only a few um, faders um, being placed. You know, the other faders are now uh, playing as they, they should, depending on the position I was at. All this actually to show that you know when you move back in time, the uh, X32 has to play very quickly all the elements until your position, you know, of the the audio cursor in Reaper, uh, which is exactly what happens when you when you play uh, when you go back in time. If you go forward and you hit play, you know everything catches up, you know, and it's in the right direction. If it, to 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 say so, you know. If you have to go back in time, you have to go to the very beginning of the uh, the automation and play all the events, you know, very quickly to get exactly where your cursor is. Doing back uh, this, you know, back and forth. Well, you you got it basically. Uh, this is what um, uh, jogs actually can do. I've been playing with the uh, one second jog, but all the other jogs actually are doing the same. Thank you. Bye bye.